This is an extra practice video. We're going to talk about missing digits in a problem. Lesson 11.13. We can find missing digits in an addition or subtraction problem by using logical thinking. And take a look at this problem. We have 327 and we're subtracting, see, 200 and then there's a missing digit. It gives us the answer of 123, but we have to figure out what that digit is. So we think, which number can we subtract from 7 that's going to put a 3 in the 1's place? Well, 7 minus 4 equals 3, so a 4 fits, doesn't it? We could put a 4 there, and that would make this problem true, wouldn't it? It would make the answer correct. So we can figure these out. We can be a number detective. We can also do 7 minus 3 to get 4 to find the missing digit. We can take this 7 and subtract the sum in the 1's place to find that missing one. See? Because 4 plus 3 equals 7. They're all fact families, right? They're all parts of a fact family. All right. So we're going to find the missing digit to complete each problem. We have to really put our thinking caps on because it's going to try to trick us and we can't let it. Okay, so we have 434, and it looks like we're taking away a two-digit number. We know there's a 2 in the 1's place. So which number can we add right here to a 3 that'll put a 1 in the 10's place and make one more 100? Look, it went, this is only a two-digit number. There's no 100's here, but the 4 became a 5. Well, they must have regrouped, right? They must have regrouped and put a 1 here, right? So now look at this. We have a 1 up here and a 1 down here. What could we add to 3 that would give us an 11? Because that's really an 11, isn't it? We just regrouped that 1 up to there. So 3 plus something equals 11. Do you know what we can add to 3 to make 11? It would be an 8. 8 plus 3 equals 11. See? And now, when we look at this, 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 plus 3 is 8. 9, 10, 11. We regroup the 1, put the 1 down. 4 and 1 is 5. It worked. See? So you have to do a little detective work and do a little thinking. Okay? Let's try one that's a little bit different. Now we have 750-something, and we're subtracting 315. They gave us the answer. We need to figure out which number equals a 5 when 5 is subtracted from it. What number would equal a 5 if you took 5 away from it? Well, we can add these two 5s to find out what goes in there. Well, that would be a 10. But we can't put two digits there, can we? The missing digit must be a 0. Because we can only put one digit there, and we have a 10. So that would be the 0, and that would be the 1, wouldn't it? And because this is subtraction, and look, 5 take away 1 isn't 3. What could we take 1 away from that would equal 3? Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. That means this must have been a 4. So what happened was they regrouped, see, what happened was they regrouped from the 10's place, and that became a 10. See? The missing digit had to be a 0. 5 take away 1 is not 3. It had to have been a 4. That means they regrouped. See? Okay, stick with me, because I know this could be tricky. All right? Look at this one. We have something 56. It's a 3-digit number, and we're taking away 474. And it's going to equal 182. Well, 6 minus 4 is 2. That's okay. But 5 minus 7 is not an 8. 15 minus 7 is 8. They must have regrouped. That means this became a 15. And the only way for it to become a 15 is if it took a number from the hundreds place. But look, they took 4 away and it made a 1. If you took 4 away from a number and it equaled 1, what number could be here? 
a five, right? Five take away four is one. So that means this became a five. So what was it before we regrouped to the tens place? It had to have been a six, see? And they regrouped it to a five. Boy, this is tricky, isn't it? All right, I bet you could do this. I bet you're smart enough to do this. Okay, let's try this one. We have 375 and we're adding 200, 110, and some ones. And it says five plus something is a three. And seven plus something is a nine. Well, that doesn't make sense. Seven plus one isn't nine. And what could we add to five to make a three? Well, that doesn't make sense. Because this seven plus this one is a nine, they must have regrouped and had another one here. See? That means that five got added to a number that made 13, see? And because we couldn't put the one down here in the ones place, we had to regroup it to the tens place. So five plus something is 13. That makes more sense. Five plus what is 13? Do you know? Five plus eight. Now, if we look at this, we do five plus eight, that's 13, we regroup the one and put the three down, seven, eight, nine, and three plus two is five. That works, see? So you're gonna have to figure out the regrouping and what they did. When you see seven plus one and a nine, you know that they must have regrouped, right? That's a clue, okay? All right, let's take a look at this one. We have 800, some tens, we don't know what it is, and a nine, and we're taking away Pay attention to your signs because it could be plus or minus, okay? So always pay attention to your sign. We're taking away 453 and we're going to have 426 left. We start with the ones place. 9 minus 3 is 6. So this one's okay. But something, take away 5, is a 2. So what number makes a 2 when you take 5 from it? When 5 is subtracted? Well, we can actually add these two together and get a 7 because it's the opposite. Seven minus five equals two, and two plus five equals seven. It's a fact family, right? So we can rely on fact family, so we know a seven must go in here. And eight take away four is four, so that works, see? So think about fact families as you do this. We've got one more. We have 439, and we're taking away a two-digit number, but look, the hundreds became a three, and we weren't taking any hundreds away. Well, that means they must have regrouped and made it a three, right? That means that this must have been more than a three. It must have been a 13, see? It had to have given some tens to the tens place, right? We do nine minus seven, that's a two, that worked. 13 minus something is 5. And 13 minus 8. See? So we know the missing number is an 8, and then the 3 drops down, okay? So be a number detective, and we can use guess and check to find the missing digits. Try a number, any number that you think it might be, and if it's too small or too big and it doesn't make the right answer and it doesn't fit, make a better guess. We could have done this and put a six in there and seen if it worked. And if it didn't work, we could have tried a seven and then an eight, see? So you can use guess and check if you want, all right? It's better for your brain if you try to figure it out. You'll get better at math because you'll be practicing. But if you want to use guess and check and some scratch paper, that's fine if that helps you find the answer, okay? All right, we're going to talk about estimating in the next video, and I hope you'll be there for me. Don't forget to hit the like button. Bye.